channel so today I'm actually getting ready for my anniversary and I wanted to take you guys along the way I decided to do like a DIY table setting because my husband surprised me with a celebrity uh, chef so he's coming to our house to cook and so I kind of wanted it to be like a whole vibe you know like when you into the vibe you just feel sexy and you just like I got a whole outfit like it's just amazing so I wanted to take you guys along the way to so you guys can see how I bought on a budget with this table most of the things that I got it was from Dollar Tree but it's coming together so good and I wanted to show you guys everything that I got to make my table come to life. And so I'll show you an example of how I wanted it to look and how it's going to look um, in the video. So we're going to just go ahead and jump right into the materials here. So I'm going to start out with this tree stump. Now I've been dying to get my hands on these. And then I was just in Raw's store and I actually seen them and they were super cheap. I think they were like $6.99. And I always see them, but then I always question myself like what am I going to do with these? Since I was going for the rustic look and it had the actual tree stump in there, I figured these would go really good with my theme as well as I'm actually going to use them as a cutting board after and I'm actually going to use this one with the legs this one I'm actually going to use as a cake stand they're super heavy very durable so I, I definitely figured that I could get some use from these so I did go ahead and get those from Ross now these candles we actually blew these candles out on our wedding date so we actually keep those as a keepsake now the other items I did purchase from Dollar Tree, I did have some candles right here that I had from Michaels and I think I purchased these like a long time ago. I think they were like $5.99 and I had a 50% coupon. And I did get some vase and floating candles from my local Dollar Tree. So like I said, most of um, the material that I'm using on the actual table, they all came from Dollar Tree. And I do also have some tree stump coasters that I'm gonna show you later on in the video that I also use to place um, candles on. But most of my items I did purchase from the dollar store. So stay tuned to see how my table comes out. It's so I also purchased two charger plates for um, our plates, but this is going to be a decoration one. And then we're going to put our rear plates on top of this one. I don't know if I want to keep it gold or if I want to switch it up. So we'll play around with this, but th that's what I have so far. <laughs> Okay, and so these are my flowers that I used. They all came from Trader Joe's, and I think I spent about $22 on them. These are the coasters that I was telling you about that I got from Ross um, to go with my rustic theme as well.
this year has just been about growth as individuals and, and our marriage. I think for me is having a filter for decisions where your marriage is at the forefront. Like, okay, is that I've learned, I learned from four years of marriage. So we've been together for eight years. Eight years, right? November 2013. November 17th to be exact. So that's how many years? Eight years. Eight years. <laughs> eight long, long, long years. And we've been married for four years, which we could have been married for six, Five and years, and a half, six years. But we had a, but we a, half, had a year long year. engagement. Save so that money. Pay for that wedding. We decided to have a longer engagement. Got but engaged with all of that. August 2015, August 28, 2015, got married. June 24th, 2017. So I say with all of that, the four years that, you know, I've been like as a wife, like I feel like people say that their life do not change going from girlfriend, going to fiance, going to wife. Bro, life changes. Like for me, life has changed so much and, and so and for me it changed as well because when you people are like oh i can't wait to get married but like being a husband there's a the the responsibility <laughs> i stay in that oil now but it's a responsibility that you have to embrace or you can run from it and i feel like this year's been a year where i've really embraced it like and accepted like yo I'm proud on June 24th, 2021. I'm not the same man I was last year or the year before. And like deals say things like, oh, the old Marcus. And that's a compliment, you know what I'm saying? Who I used to be, you know what I'm saying? Not you know, who you are right now. So um, I'm just growing them bossed up. I'm growing a beard, okay. y'all. First of all, beard. I was in my four years, what I've learned. So, okay, he say all of that to say with me. What I've learned in my four years of marriage is that Toot the booty. <laughs> Bloopers. If, what I've learned in my four years of marriage would be that it is your journey and it's no one else. And if you feel like you want to do something different than the traditional marriage, then definitely do that <laughs> because this is your marriage. This is no one else's marriage. That Whatever God has for you, yeah, it is for you about, and it's for nobody else. He gives you this vision and not no one, okay, one error. Okay, and I feel that, no, I feel that we as a married couple have done what God has called upon our lives. And so and as we enter jump. this next journey in our Baby. life, I feel that God, he is just doing this supernatural power that he's just testing our faith in this actual you journey. And that I'm, 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 I'm ending it. So he's testing our faith, right? Because again, if God has called you to do things, they're not gonna make sense to people outside. TV but Jay as said. long as, hold on, Marcus, as long as God has given you the vision, then you have to walk accordingly and you have to obey God. I mean, like you have to obey God and walk in His Amen. will and not your own. And that's what I'm saying. I'll, let me hold on, babe. To, to sum that up is that it is very crucial to walk in your in God's will and not your own. And that's what I've learned in my four years of marriage. Wrap it up. Last thing we'll say is TJ said on Bible study the other night, he said, somebody else's opinion of me is none of my business. And that was a bar because I feel like so often you can be like, oh, how, when this person said this, this person feels that way. And it's like, yo, that don't got nothing to do with you. That's none of your business. So, um, but we about to go, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we about to wrap this video up. It's been great. So I hope you guys enjoyed Have this night, video that I filmed for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the um diy setup here that we have what's your cost so what's your amazing cost? i don't even know so i spent i don't even know how much it's i gotta add everything up i think it's less than ten dollars it um, is definitely less than i mean not less than ten dollars less than um 25. 75 dollars 
So this whole setup is less than seventy five dollars. You talking about with the cloth and everything? With everything out the door. So with flowers, the most expensive thing is flowers, though. But I love flowers, and I actually I wanted to go for a rustic look, and I knew that I would be able to hang some of my flowers in my shower. So I wasn't really like prone of like getting too much flowers because I really love flowers. And yeah, so this has been like a really great um for it's uh, Marcus fun. gave me like a Gucci bag. Show like, the bag. Show the bag. They're gonna see the bag in the video. Oh, okay. And he gave me a Gucci bag and you know And, it's a and I'm not even a designer type of person though. But, she but Whatever he feels that he wants to give me, I will accept. And I do send him things that I do want. Like that bag was one of the Right, things. and my Chanel shoes too. So, but it's a good thing to be able to invest in your wife. I feel like I give away a lot of game. I mentor a lot of people. But this last year also told, showed me the importance of investing in my wife and our marriage. That's the greatest return on your investment, you know, because um, you can get more booty. You can get more booty. So, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that button. <laughs> See you on the next See video. See you on the next video. <laughs>